Hi everybody, welcome back. This is the second video in my series of XR meets AI. Um, this is an application called Virtual Speech. Um, I've had this downloaded for quite a while, but they've added a whole bunch of things recently. Um, so I'm gonna get in there and show you the AI uh, stuff pretty much immediately. The first thing that they've added is this role play with ChatGPT. Not too sure which version it is, um, but as you'll see, it's pretty powerful. Um, so we're gonna type in my name there. And I basically say, uh, understand. And as you can see here, it's, there's not too much um, here in terms of restrictions. It's just a free flowing conversation. So I'm gonna show you how this works and you'll be impressed at how quickly um, the, the AI uh, reacts here. So free flowing conversation and then it says loading here, so you have to watch these prompts. Um, we... Hello, David. My name is Cynthia. What would you like to talk about today? Hi, I'd like to talk about my career uh, prospects at the company. I'm not very happy about them. I feel like I'm not getting any opportunities to progress. I understand your concerns, David. Can you please provide me with some specific details about your current role and any efforts you've made to express your career goals and aspirations to your superiors? Yeah, well, I've made myself into this metaverse expert in the last few years, and I've rolled out the technology at the company um, for internal events, for onboarding, Yet somehow when you made the official role about uh, the metaverse, you gave it to somebody else. And I feel bad about that. Um, I have told my managers in every single performance review I've had about this, um, but I just seem to be overlooked. I see, David. It sounds like you've made significant contributions in the area of the metaverse, and it's understandable that you feel overlooked. Have you had a direct conversation with your managers to discuss your aspirations for the metaverse role and your desire for career growth in that area? Yes, I have, thanks for asking. Um, however, I get the feeling that my managers have their hands tied and they can't really do anything about it because uh, they basically don't understand what the metaverse is all about. I understand your frustration, David. It can be challenging when managers may not fully comprehend the value and potential of emerging technologies like the metaverse. In such cases, it might be beneficial to seek opportunities to educate and enlighten your managers about the benefits and possibilities of the metaverse, showcasing how it aligns with the company's goals and objectives. Good advice. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. You're welcome, David. I'm glad I could help. If you have any more questions or concerns in the future, feel free to reach out. Goodbye and take care. So, as you could see from that example, um, it's actually a very effective way to do things uh, using ChatGPT. So you have this avatar, it replies pretty quickly to you, you need to watch the prompt there. Um, it seems like the app is always recording and when it detects a pause, it will say reply. You, you hit that, it then sends the text uh, to the chat GPT bot. So I've, I thought it was pretty, it's, it's amazing really because I've, I've never been with an avatar like this uh, and had this kind of responses. So that's, and, and that was just me making up something about the metaverse. You could talk about psychological problems. And of course, as you know, ChatGPT can kind of figure out most things. Um, so that's really impressive. The next thing uh, that virtual speech have added is um, in the practice rooms here. Um, ah, let's do this one. So. They've got these meeting rooms, um, 2D, which is a 360 video with photorealistic people, or you have a 3D one here. Um, let's try this one. Um, 
yeah. So as you can see here, you've got recordings of people who are kind of nodding their head, moving around, all that kind of stuff, a timer. Um, and then the thing that they've added here is this audience questions with, uh, again, generative AI. So it's not you've not added any questions to the app. Uh, pick a topic, AI generated. Uh, so let's say... Keyboard in here is not great. So we'll now get questions generated. Uh, I think it's a big list, they'll get generated in advance. Again, um, this one kind of, of the stuff most important considerations when designing for the metaverse. So it's in case you can't hear, it's what's the most important considerations when designing for the metaverse? Um, well, I think you have to think about inclusion. Is your application going to be usable by all kinds of people um, with different needs in terms of their uh, level of comfort with headsets or computing devices in general? Um, you have to think about security and you have to think about safety of the users, that the users feel like they are not in any kind of threatening environment in there. You need to think about performance because typically metaverse environments are uh, blah, 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 blah. How can the metaverse be used to create virtual worlds? Well, I think it's the other way around. So virtual worlds are a part of the metaverse, blah, 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 blah. What are the opportunities for monetization within the metaverse? Oh, loads, just NFTs. What are the advantages and disadvantages of the metaverse? Uh, less travel, uh, more inclusion, blah, blah, blah. So I'm getting questions, just in case you can't hear it in the recording, um, basically ch generated by ChatGPT. And uh, there are good, relevant questions, as you'd imagine. So, you know, what are the design considerations? What's the pros and cons? Or what's the advantages of using metaverse? etc uh, etc et there is an analysis here okay i need to create an account but i think that's a very good application of chat gpt type uh, ai to this application so it basically brings this whole applications to life because you can get these kind of questions you don't know what the questions are going to be um so i think that's a really really good um use of uh, generative AI, or ai let's say in this case um, so the role play and then they've got the questions uh, in those practice rooms there. Um, yeah, that's it for me. A virtual speech is now becoming a super, super useful uh, application, especially with that role play. So I did multiplayer as well since the last time I've looked at it. So you can actually do role play in here. Um, and you can see here, you can upload things. You can um, record yourself. Um, it's pretty impressive uh, app and it came from an app which didn't really have very much. You can see here speech analysis, live feedback. Um, it's pretty useful in terms of practicing presentations. So again, you know, for me, uh, VR, if you like uh, AR, VR applications today give you superpowers. This kind of application, it's impossible to create anything like this on a phone or an iPad. You just, you don't get the feeling that you're standing on the stage. Um, so if I do this one, you'll see. So here I am up on the big stage. I've got a, a screen here where actually the slides appear. I can load slides onto this um, deck down the bottom here. So there's some samples. And I'm pretty sure you can upload samples if you have an account. Um, so you can put your own decks here. And as you can see, they appear in the back. You're at a podium, you can have notes, you can upload notes. It's an excellent uh, application for learning how to speak publicly. That's it for now. Um, and that's called Virtual Speech. You can get it, I think it's still in the App Lab. But just do a search in your Oculus Store and you'll find that.